Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. So Taurus, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages could resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Taurus. What is the energy? Messages for Taurus. What is the energy, Spirit? What would you like for Taurus to know at this time? What is the message? What would you like for Taurus to know at this time? What is the energy? Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Bottom of the deck, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay. So somebody um, could be seeking your forgiveness or you could be seeking someone else's forgiveness. I feel like um, something is very important about intentions and somebody being able to move forward. Like somebody has to right a wrong with you or you have to make something right with someone Taurus take it as it resonates let's pull some more energy spirit tell me more for Taurus what is the message give me more energy for Taurus what's the energy messages for Taurus what's the energy what messages do you have for Taurus what is the energy spirit? What messages do you have for Taurus? What would you like for them to know at this time? The Five of Pentacles. Wow. So this could definitely be somebody you left out in the cold or somebody who left you out, somebody who walked away. Something has to do with abandon. So somebody could have abandoned you here. For some of you, I'm getting like somebody left you with, with like the mortgage, the bills. Like somebody pretty much left you to fend for yourself. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. Somebody like could have lost their job here as well somebody could be um in jeopardy of losing their home let's tap in to see what this energy is five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck <laughs> so it's like by this person leaving you out in the cold like abandoning you treating you um wrong towards it's like the balance is for this person to be left out in the cold so it's like somebody's going from the nine of pentacles some someone who's very stable to the five of pentacles and then you're going from the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles that's the balance that's taking place that's the shift due to something that um happened in the past this could be somebody um that you were in a relationship with for some of you this could be like an actually an actual family member let's get some more energy i feel like this person thinks a lot about what they've done why is the Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy spirit? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? What is the message? Give me some energy spirit. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, some type of lies are being exposed. That's what's happening here, Taurus. Yeah, somebody was determined to keep things hidden. This person could be a Leo or a Pisces or have both highly aspected. But you know what? Even though this person tried hard to keep um, these lies covered up, they couldn't stop thinking about what they did. I feel like this person was constantly reminded of what they did or said about you in the past. This could definitely be somebody you were in a commitment with. It's like somebody was constantly being reminded of how they treated you, how they wronged you. But it's like now the truth is here. Whatever's done in the dark is coming to the light. Give me another energy on the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So some type of truth is coming out about... um. 
I'm hearing a fake friend for some of you. Somebody who showed fake love. And then for others, I'm hearing like something's coming out regarding a love offer that was never made. A love offer that was never given to you. Give me another energy, like something happened in the past to block someone from coming forward or to stop you from going towards someone. Take it as it resonates. Yeah. Eight of Cups of Three of Swords. Yeah. The truth is somebody walked away. For some of you, this could have been a third party situation, but it's like somebody left you heartbroken here. Like I said, somebody left you out in the cold. Like somebody didn't give you what you deserve. Whether this is a friend who treated you unfairly, who was two-faced, you know, smiled in your face, talked behind your back, or if it's somebody who, you know, really did not invest. Something has to do with um, in a person walking away too soon as well. Like somebody could have just ran away too quickly and didn't really give something enough time to develop. Give me an energy for the Eight of Cups. Why well, the Eight of Cups here? For Taurus, what is the energy? I have the Ten of Cups. This person could have walked away to go and build a family with someone else. Why well, is the Eight of Cups here? What is the energy? This person could have also walked away due to being influenced by a group of people. This could be family or friends. But these are people that this person holds in high regard. They trust these energies. Give me a message for the Eight of Cups. Why well, is the Eight of Cups here for Taurus? What is the message? I have the Five of Cups, but it left them in regret. Somebody's in their fields. <laughs> heavily i mean somebody's heartbroken because of a decision they made so it's like this person could have chosen to not give you an offer to abandon you due to some type of lies manipulation but now that the lies have been exposed about this group of people for some of you this person is in the five of cups because somebody's realizing it was all an illusion. It was false. Give me an energy for the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? It's like somebody cheated you, you know, out of a relationship here. Somebody didn't give you what you deserve. Give me an energy for the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? And then I'm hearing, um, boys to men and brandy. Lonely and broken hearted. So for some of you, it's like this person ended up being alone. They just thought something was going to be grand. Um, they thought they were going to live a good life with whoever they chose. Whether this is another relationship, whether this is family, friends. Like somebody just thought that everything was going to look up for them. But they were sadly mistaken. I have the Tower Scorpio energy. Give me another message for the Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody went through a tower here and it broke their heart. When these lies came out, the truth was revealed. Give me an energy for the three of swords. And it's like it was all for nothing. Like, however this person treated you, mishandled the situation, it it was done for nothing. You were innocent. Give me an energy for the three of swords. In this whole situation, you were the innocent party. But somebody just chose to believe other people. Or just thought the grass was greener. Why is the Three of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? The Five of Wands. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of conflict and drama. For some of you, like this conflict and drama was created in order to intentionally distract this person, to block them from seeing these lies, from seeing the truth about these people. Like this was, you know, confusion caused on purpose by whoever this group is, this Ten of Cups is. And this could definitely be um, people in this person's own family that was doing this. Give me an energy for the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? I feel like for some of you, you could have had people trying to attack you, attack your character. Give me another energy for the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? What is the message? But I feel like this was done out of jealousy. Somebody did not want to see you be happy or didn't want to see this person be happy. It's like the decision that um, this masculine or feminine made left them out in the cold. Like somebody's choice have them in this five of pentacles. Give me an energy for the five of wands. The number 55 could be significant. 
with the five of pentacles five of wands why is the five of wands here for Taurus? what is the energy oh we another five very significant changes are happening now Taurus, especially with this tower here there's a lot of major endings coming somebody was just very hateful spiteful somebody wanted to compete with you oh no you know what we have four fives we have the five of cups five of pentacles five of wands five of swords wow yeah very hateful energy somebody could have wanted to see you in lack see you in poverty it's like somebody wanted the best for you because they wanted to one up you they just wanted to win but now whoever was competing with you is at a loss they're in the five of cups and whoever chose this person's side or these people's side over yours, whoever didn't give you this offer, whoever wasn't fair with you, they're also in the Five of Cups. Everybody's miserable. Give me an energy on the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the tower here for Taurus? What is the energy? the four of wands somebody wanted a relationship a family but now that's that's changing tower moment that's about to be over these people could argue a lot it's like somebody just made a bad decision here somebody just wanted a relationship for some of you this could be like a twin flame connection if you subscribe to that journey somebody just wanted to interfere Give me another energy on the tower. Why is the tower here for Taurus? What is the message? Look at this. Eight of Wands and Six of Cups. What I'm getting is bickering back and forth. I'm also getting like all this person does is gossip. Whoever this Five of Swords energy is. Like everything this person has to say is mostly negative. This person loves to keep up drama. Loves to throw a rock and hide her hands. There's definitely a lot of... um negative energy inside of this home this relationship this is someone from this person's past but they don't even have a good history with this energy it's like somebody just chose to make themselves miserable by entertaining the past and they really don't get along with this person anyway but they wanted to repeat a cycle with someone they really don't have a good history with Give me an energy for um, the Knight of Cups. For some of you that could have a child or children together. For some of you too, whoever this Five of Swords energy is, um, he or she would um, cause confusion within this person's family. So this energy would actually make um, this masculine go against his family and at the same time make this masculine's or feminine's family go against him or her like they were pretty much like pit the family members against each other including this masculine like somebody was like that hateful that they just loved chaos they loved it so much that they didn't even care about making this masculine have issues with his own family members with his blood relatives give me an energy for the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here in the reverse what is the energy look at this nine of pentacles and the nine of wands so for some of you like this person just wanted to be single <laughs> And wanted to be a player and just wanted to mess around. Yeah, for some of you, this person could have like even ghosted you or just pulled back for no reason. For some of you, this person like could have been t telling you they were pulling back their energy or they didn't have time for you because of work. Like somebody could have been using work as an excuse. For them not responding to your phone calls. For them not spending as much time with you. Give me another energy for the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could work in the legal profession. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Somebody could work in the law field or be a lawyer. Take it as it resonates. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? 
Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody just really wanted to be single. That's what this is. Give me another energy on the Nine of Pentacles. It's like somebody wouldn't budge here. I'm telling you, King of Swords, somebody would not budge. Somebody just really thought, you know, this was the life. They did not want to commit. They really did not want to give you this offer. Or they did not want to honor their commitment to you. For those of you where you were in a relationship with this person. Give me an energy on the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy spirit? Why is the Eight of Swords here? What is the message? Yeah, the King of Wands. Yeah. I feel like now this person is stuck. They are with the decision that they made. They're stuck. If they chose somebody over you, they're stuck. If they chose to go back to someone from their past who they did not have a good history with at all, they're stuck. If they chose just to be single and wanted to be a player, they're stuck. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Knight of Wands here for Taurus? What is the message of the world? Somebody pregnant? Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy? Yeah. Somebody is with child for some of you. But it's like this person's actions just pretty much closed out this cycle. Yeah, something's just over. Give me another energy for the Knight of Wands. This person gets around a lot too. For some of you, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but somebody could have like more than one person pregnant i'm hearing multiple somebody could have like up to three people saying that they're pregnant i'm also getting like triplets somebody could be having triplets here give me an energy for the knight of wands why is the knight of wands here for taurus what is the energy the hermit yeah when somebody decided to ghost you and go be a player they, they closed out a cycle here Somebody can have Virgo highly aspected. Give me something for the world. Why is the world here? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, whatever quick action someone took to either go deal with somebody else or just remain single. It was just a quick decision. They didn't really think it through, but they thought whatever choice they were making was the correct one. And it ended things abruptly. Something just ended abruptly. Give me an energy for the night, the hermit. Why is the hermit here? What is the energy? Why is the hermit here? Um, with purpose, I'm hearing like you were a part of this person's life purpose. So this was destined. This was like a faded connection. Give me an energy for the hermit. The queen of swords and temperance, Sagittarius energy. So this person could have had like someone else in their ear guiding them yeah this person has someone else telling them what to do this queen of swords energy they trusted this person they felt like this person was um leading them in the right direction would help them make the right decision and, and what this is giving me is that this person whoever this queen of swords energy is this person could be a virgo with air highly aspected could have sagittarius highly aspected but it's like this feminine energy could do no wrong in this masculine's eyes he trusted this person like <laughs> he literally looked at whoever this feminine was as like an angel as somebody who was angelic who was upright who was wise who would tell him the right thing to do but no somebody was being led down the wrong path it's kind of like the blind leading the blind yeah, it's like whoever this masculine chose to listen to, it just it kept him in a toxic lifestyle. And something has to do like with lustful energy as well. It stopped this person from growing, from ascending. Give me an energy for temperance. Look at this, the high priestess. Pisces energy. For some of you, I'm also getting like um, 
This is your energy with the Hermit to the Queen of Swords to the Temperance to the High Priestess. For some of you, you could be Earth Angels, um, very gifted, a very strong intuition. You could be public speakers. You could have your own platform, just very wise. You are a Hermit. You stay to yourself. You don't interact with a lot of people. You're very protective over your energy. You're very balanced, very healing, nurturing, compassionate. And this is who this person ran away from quickly. You were meant to guide this person. But they chose to be guided by the devil. Be guided by somebody that didn't really have the best intentions for them. This could be um, someone in this masculine's family or a close friend that he trusts. For some of you, this could be this person's own mother. Or sibling. Somebody could definitely be a mama's boy here as well. So it's like whatever mama says goes. This could also be the mother of this person's child. Who he still takes advice from. But whoever this energy is. Whether this is um, a mother figure in his life. Someone he has a child or children with. This energy is very controlling, super controlling. This is somebody who wants to hold on to this person. And where this is, his mother. I'm hearing the song, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. She doesn't want this masculine to grow up at all. This is giving me like the movie Baby Boy. She wants this masculine to stay a child forever. She does not want to allow him to evolve because that's going to create change she doesn't want him to step fully into his power because she wants to have control over his life over his decisions and this masculine is very spoiled for a lot of you extremely spoiled this is somebody who got pretty much anything he wanted as a kid and like his mom was very much um stuck on the material like what looks good this is the type of mother who um would dress her son to the nines you know he'll have name brand clothes the latest shoes but it's like she really did not teach him the important things in life about you know integrity character it's all about what you put on, what you look like, the superficial things. That's how this masculine was brought up for some of you. Like, make sure you look good. You may be out here, you know, scheming and cheating and lying. But as long as you look good, though, that's all that matters. Give me an energy for the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message? Yeah, but for some of you, you're high priestess here. You are um, extremely gifted. Very intuitive. Look at this. The sun to justice. So, that's the balance. I feel like by this person leaving you out in the cold, this person is being left out in the cold by spirit, by the divine. This person is stranded where you left him or her. Take it as it resonates. In the Five of Pentacles, in lack. This person has a lack mindset as well. But it's like whatever this person is going through, I'm hearing poverty. So somebody could definitely, definitely be taking a loss here financially. But whatever this person is experiencing, I'm also hearing health-wise... It's their karma. It's justice. And whatever this person is going through, people can see this. It's illuminated. There's no hiding this. People can see this masculine struggle. As well as whoever this hater who came for you. This person is struggling as well. Both of these people are being put on blast at this time. This could be a Leo or a Libra or somebody that has it highly aspected. But somebody did too much entirely. Give me an energy for the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message? 
while you're winning, you're winning towards you're having victory and success. Whatever it is that you do for work, you're receiving a lot of attention, accolades, whether you do something online, um, I'm hearing brick and mortar, just work a traditional job, whatever it is that you're doing, it's a part of your calling, your purpose. That's why you're having so much success doing it. You're winning. This person was supposed to be winning with you, but he allowed his past family members, um, baby mother, or his own mother interfere and did something in haste without fully thinking it through. And now he has to watch you just like everybody else. Have to watch you evolve, ascend. Give me an energy for purpose. Why is purpose here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is purpose here for Taurus? What is the message spirit? The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. This person had two choices. Had a choice between a Queen of Cups energy. This could be a water sign feminine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Queen of Wands. For some of you, fire sign, feminine, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And then you see the match. We have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So somebody had a choice between a twin flame connection or dealing with a water sign feminine or the mother of their child or children. And somebody forsook their twin in order to go back to the past. Or to deal with someone else. Someone they thought was better. And I'm just looking at how she's stroking this cup. Whoever this person chose is extremely manipulative. This masculine could have felt like whoever this energy is. Was a part of his purpose. That they were meant to be together. But now he's seeing or he's about to that that was false. I'm also getting um, with this Queen of Cups to the Queen of Wands, this represents your energy. You're very nurturing, compassionate, healing, very attractive, a go-getter. You're in your purpose. You're in line with your destiny. But whoever your counterpart is, he's not aligned with his. Because in order for him to have his purpose, to fulfill his calling, he would have had to come with you. He would have had to choose you. But he didn't. Or she. Take it as it resonates. Give me an energy for forgiveness. Why is forgiveness here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is forgiveness here for Taurus? What is the message? What? Stop playing the Ace of Pentacles. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I feel like you've already forgiven this person and moved on and you have a huge blessing coming in. A major offer. I feel like this person's commitment was being tested when it came to himself. Choosing himself. Somebody needed to choose themselves in this situation, but they didn't. They chose other people. Over doing what was right. Over what their intuition was telling them. And they missed out. For some of you, this person is coming back around. Because now they see they missed out. They see you as a gift. So this person could be coming back around for another chance. They want you to forgive them. For some of you, this person could be bringing you an offer as well. But yeah, it's like somebody sees it now. They see you. They see your shine. That's what this is. Give me one more on the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy spirit? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? What's the message? <laughs> Look at this. Somebody treated their gift like an option. <laughs> Somebody treated their blessing like an option. That's what this is. So yeah, this person wants to apologize. Somebody's had a change of mind. They can see it now. 
Because whatever cup this person chose from, they now realize it was the wrong cup. Somebody had a choice between the five of pentacles or the ace of pentacles and they chose the five. And they realized that. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Taurus. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Taurus. What is the energy? Final message for Taurus, please. What is the energy? Maybe it's just a story you're telling yourself. Notice what you say to yourself and others. You have the power to change the story. Yes, somebody changed this masculine's direction based on their words. Whether it's someone lying to them, someone from their past, someone they have a child with, or them listening to family member, friends, their mom. It's like someone's words influence this masculine's or feminine's decision about you. Or influence your decision, Taurus, about this person. And then we have be vulnerable. Vulnerability is strength. Lay your cards out on the table. Reveal the true you. Keep your mind plus heart open. There is no need to protect yourself. Exactly. Somebody needed to open up here. Somebody needed to stand in their power and be true to themselves. And stop trying to fit in. That's the problem. Somebody just wanted to fit in here. Somebody wasn't confident enough to stand out. They wanted to do what other people told them. Be who other people thought they should be instead of just being themselves. So Taurus, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.